This video will take you through the TOPS University Diploma Track and walk students through choosing their eight courses for next school year. While it is important to know which courses you must take in order to fulfill graduation requirements, it's much more helpful to know when you should take each course. This top chart is helpful for those TOPS University students coming into ninth grade without any high school English or math credits. Whereas the bottom chart is helpful for those students who took the first parts of English 1 and Algebra 1 in the eighth grade. In each case, you can see that even though we're on a four by four block scheduling system, all students take two units of English and math in both the ninth and 10th grades. Students also take one science, one social studies and a PE each of these two years. Thereafter, the sequence for each of those English, math, science and social studies does look a little different. So in the next few slides, we're gonna break it down so everyone knows which course comes next in this progression. The first progression we'll look at is the TOPS University English progression. For those students who came into ninth grade with English one, part one from eighth grade, they have taken English one and English two at the ninth grade level. Those students who came without any English courses took technical reading and writing and English one in the ninth grade. Depending on which courses you took, we'll determine which courses you take in 10th grade. Those students who took technical reading and writing and English one will then go on to technical writing and English two in the 10th grade. Those ninth graders, who had English one and English two in ninth grade, will then determine whether they want to take English three, English three asterisks, or English two, three dual enrollment and English language AP. After English three, students will then determine which English four course to take. And those students who still have room for another English their senior year, can choose to take English 5. Tops University math progression is as follows. Students taking Algebra 1 Part 1 in the 8th grade, then come to Shelman High School taking Algebra 1 and Algebra 2. Those students who did not take Algebra 1 Part 1 in the 8th grade, typically take technical math and algebra one. All ninth grade students then take math essentials and geometry their 10th grade year. The students who have taken algebra two already in ninth grade, then go on to take either algebra three, algebra three dual enrollment or advanced math functions and statistics. Those ninth graders who did take technical math and algebra one in ninth grade, after math essentials and geometry in 10th grade, then go on to take algebra two in the 11th grade. Typically after algebra two, they usually take algebra three or advanced math functions and statistics. For students who would like to get to calculus and calculus AP their senior year, must take pre-calculus their junior year. So, Students, again, you will choose between Algebra 3, Algebra 3 dual enrollment, or Advanced Math Functions and Statistics as your fourth math. After, those students will take Pre-Calculus, then Calculus, and then Calculus AP. Most students on the TOPS University Diploma Track take one science each year of high school. In ninth grade, most students take physical science. In 10th grade, take biology. Tops University students then take chemistry their junior year. Students will now have the option to take chemistry, chemistry asterisks, or chemistry as a dual enrollment course. Once they have successfully passed chemistry, students then have a choice for their fourth science from this list, biology two, Biology 2 AP dual enrollment, 
chemistry two, environmental science, environmental science dual enrollment, and physics. Students should look through the course descriptions on our CHS webpage for more guidance on which course may fit their interest and in post-secondary plans. All TOPS University students must also take four social studies courses. Of those four, students take civics and US history, all students for graduation. The sequence looks different though, depending on which social studies class was taken in the ninth grade. Students taking civics in ninth grade typically take world history in 10th grade, US history in 11th grade, and world geography their senior year. Students on the AP track typically, typically take human geography AP their ninth grade year, civics and psychology AP their 10th grade year, and then go on to take US history or US history pre-AP and US history AP their junior year. It's important to note that only psychology AP, not regular psychology, counts towards the four social studies graduation requirements. Therefore, if students do not take psychology AP, they will then take world history their senior year. Students may not take both human geography AP and world geography to meet the four graduation requirements. Just about all students, no matter your grade level, have room in your schedule of eight courses to take at least one elective. We have six pathways in which most of our electives lie. Business, Art, AV Technology and Entertainment Tech, Health Science, Information Technology, Hospitality, and Architecture and Construction. Students should choose electives that match their talents, their interests, and their post-secondary plans. Students must also choose at least two alternates for each elective. There is definitely a possibility that your first choice may either not be offered, it may be full, or not offered during a class period that you have open. So some students will be scheduled into their alternate. It's important that your alternate is a course that you would want to take. In the next slides, we will talk about the courses that jumpstart students will take throughout their, their four years of high school and the progression of those core courses.